Hey, what's up? It's your girl, Neek, and you're tuned in to Neek at Night. And tonight we're going to be talking about how a doctor's office has basically made a rule that you cannot show up to your doctor's appointment in a bonnet, slippers, or pajamas. Now, this rule has definitely made a lot of people outraged. So I wanted to do a poll for you guys to see how many of you are actually showing up to the doctor's office with a bonnet and would be affected by this rule if this was your doctor's appointment. So I went on over to my community tab and I did a poll and I said, ladies, do you wear a bonnet to your doctor's appointment? Question mark. Serious question for a later topic. So 5% of the people who commented said yes. And it was a landslide of 95% of people who said no. So in the comments, someone says, I won't even wear a bonnet to get my mail in my apartment building. I'm not shaming women who wear their bonnets outside their homes, but I personally don't want to present myself in that way. Another person says, something I was raised on, my mom always told me, do not leave the house without any clothes on and my hair not comb, etc. Another person says, the farthest I may go in a bonnet is downstairs to my lobby. And that's if I forget to switch it out of my scarf. Another person says, nah, my father never let me wear one out the house. And a lot of people said basically the most that they would do is a scarf or things like that. Another person commented and they actually were on point to the topic and said, if it's about the OBGYN in Ohio or wherever I'm ready, I think it's so insensitive to care that a pregnant woman doesn't have her look all the way together. Y'all are supposed to care about her health and well-being, not for her appearance. I work in healthcare and people barely shower before coming to the office, but we still service them and treat them like they matter. Stop attacking on black women. Someone said in response, those are specific circumstances, but you are going to work to the mall, to lawyer's office, a viewing, etc. No. Okay. So majority of the women said no. So I wanted to know how many people were affected or would be affected by said thing and are you angry that such a rule is put in place me i have worn a bonnet in my car but i don't wear a bonnet like i like my rule i was always raised if you got to go to the to the doctor you always shower before the doctor and you always present yourself in the manner that you want to be presentable my grandmother always raised me she always said if she ever went to the hospital and god forbid they kept her in the hospital she always wanted to be presentable even if you know if she had to be laying in the hospital bed and she always taught us that anytime we go to any doctor's appointment even even my mom like anytime you go to the doctor's appointment you take a bath before you go and you you know comb your hair before you go that's just how i was raised but a lot of women seem to be outraged at this being implemented and being encouraged to leave bad reviews on the doctor's office. And a lot of people felt like, you know, they're targeting women. A lot of people felt like it's blatant racism. People felt like it was outright wrong and that it was targeting us in a way that was unfair. Even white people chimed in to say their thoughts about it. And it just was a lot of people weighing in on the situation, okay? So I want to know what you guys feel like about there being a dress code in the doctor's office. And if we are showing up so much so in pajamas that such dress code is needed. Let me know what you guys think down below. Let's talk about it and I'll see you guys in the next video. Are you outraged at this doctor's appointment, doctor's office? Do you think that it's wrong to implement no pajamas, no slippers, no hair bonnets? Now, if this was the emergency room, then, you know, I feel like I would feel differently about it and I would have an opinion. This, I don't really have an opinion either way. I want to know what you guys feel about it. If it was the emergency, if somebody was on their deathbed or whatever, then yeah, that would be crazy. But to a doctor's appointment where it's non-life-threatening. And those type of non-life-threatening doctor's visits are normally a week, two weeks, or maybe even three weeks to a month out. So you know in advance when it's coming. Or if you do a same-day appointment, you yourself set it up to call. And if you're not going to the hospital, then you're well enough to make yourself presentable. I've never seen anybody go to the doctor with pajamas on. 
If I did, I can't recall. And I definitely don't think I've ever seen someone show up to the doctor's appointment in a bonnet. But in an emergency room where you have to rush out the house, there's a family emergency, somebody got harmed or something, I expect to see those things. I've seen those things in a ER room, like an emergency room where families had a tragedy, they ran out, you know, something happened to somebody, you run out. You know, those type of things I expect to see bonnets, pajamas, and, you know, people running out or if they're too sick or whatever. I expect to see those things, those places. A doctor's appointment, I don't know. But do you guys show up in a bonnet, those that did not make my um, poll? Do you show up to the doctors in a bonnet? Is that something that you do? I want to know below. You let me know how you feel about that down below and I'll see you guys on the next video.